hey guys welcome back so in this series where we are learning AMS headless and uh, I was talking about GraphQL API because first let's see what we can achieve using GraphQL API the very first thing I mean the very basic thing is content fragments uh, so though we have already discussed it in my previous videos but let's uh, refresh our memory the content fragments are nothing but assets with some metadata which we can populate and the basis of any content fragment is content fragment model so first we need to create a content fragment model which is nothing but a structure of your content fragment uh, maybe a few properties are title name date of birth etc so we have different properties available within content fragment model which we can specify and then we will create content fragments so just consider now we have uh, created multiple content fragments now on this is the data we have right so we have this data we have the content fragment model now we have this graphql api what we will do these using these apis we will fetch this data uh, which is in content fragments and we will use it so this is the overall you know idea we need to have now to create content fragment model what we need to do first let's uh, start from the scratch where we first will create the configuration browser which is nothing but a new folder so I will say it maybe for my headless uh, config and I will just enable it for maybe all but mainly it's for GraphQL persisted APIs and content fragment model let's just enable for everything create it so I just created a new headless uh, config yeah after that after that I need to create a content fragment model so I will go to uh, where should I see the content fragment model here and I should see my folder the headless config one I'll go inside I'll click on create give some model so this is my headless graph will model CF model and I can specify tags description etc and I here we have this option to enable it as soon as I we create it create it and now uh, let's open it and here we have different data types available data types are nothing but uh, you want to give some data types and then using these data types we want to create content fragments so for example simple name text which is nothing but a simple text and as soon as we drag and drop uh, this is the data type and these are the properties for this for example if I select this one this is my text field which I maybe I want to render as a text field or multiple field as well the property name the field label for example I say it is my title field as soon as change it it is imp uh, reflecting here property name it should be unique placeholder if I want to give any placeholder for example I say uh, um, put your title here and the default value if I want to give any default value the maximum length this is nothing but uh, the validation I want to put in if I want to make it required so right now it's not required but if I change it that it will be a required field if it is a unique field if it is ready for translation etc I want to put some validation on top of that for example if it is an email type uh, URL type or any custom uh, validation type so in that case what I can put, do is I can put some regex here so there are various tools online available through which we can create regex so for example I want to see only those zip codes which starts from BP plus 31 so what I can do I, I will just put a regex here uh, <clears throat> custom error message if uh, this validation is not successful then what error message I want to uh, I want to show I'll just put it in none because I don't want to put any validation here any description if I want to put okay so this is single uh, line text similar way I can have multiple line text the same area if I want to put it as text area or multiple field property name let me see if I have changed the property of this is title this is perfect maybe this one is my address and the property name is address if it is rich text type or plain text or markdown <clears throat> again the same thing if it is ready for translation well 
and the next data type is uh, uh, maybe I want to put numbers so again I will say it maybe uh, some number or maybe uh, marks obtained some placeholders then we have and if you see in this one also rendered as number field or multi field so if you notice this multi field option is coming most in most of the for example text field or text area on this number field as well the placeholder um, again if it is if it is uh, integer type or fraction type so marks can be fraction as well as integer so let's let me put it as integer then the default value if it is required again the validation type uh, if the number allowed only uh, less than or equal to greater than or equal to yeah so we can specify the number <coughs> or maybe between so just put none and some custom error message again then we have boolean date and time and enumeration tax etc so let me put boolean as well and maybe i'll put it as success and maybe the same thing let's continue uh, this videos and uh, maybe we will talk about more advanced uh, data types for example fragment reference content reference tax enumeration and these are the new one json object we'll see how we can utilize it once this content fragment model is created we will continue uh, creation of content fragments using this content fragment model Stay tuned. Thank you so much for watching.